All right, Steve. Tuesday, we got another great matchup. We've had some good matchups so far as this early season is just getting started. Big East versus the Metro, Providence versus Ryder. These are two teams that we could see finishing very close to the top in their respectful conferences. This is going to be a fantastic game. Looking forward to this one on Fox Sports 1 if you're paying attention on TV, 630 Eastern time on Tuesday. Steve, I'm excited. Uh, you know, it, I mean, it's, it's already been, you know, a terrific first morning, afternoon and night of college basketball on Monday. This game, you know, Ryder might actually be the biggest beneficiary of all the chaos that was surrounding the Manhattan program following the firing of their coach, Steve Masiello, and their star player, Jose Perez, immediately entering the transfer portal. You got to remember the Broncos ended Rick Pitino and Iona's hopes for an NCAA bid last year. And I think they're carrying that performance and, and, and that hope over into the Metro Atlantic conference season. And when you look at all the, you know, the, the flux that, that that's going on within the conference, I mean, St. Peter's lost its coach after, after an amazing run last year, uh, Iona's the class, but Ryder's going to, going to keep pace and going to surprise a lot of people in that Metro Atlantic. I mean, I know, I think you and I both had him picked second, I believe. Yep. You know, if, if for that. And Dwight Miller Jr. is just, he's the spark plug that fires the entire Ryder attack. He averaged 13 points a game last year. He's going to team up with Alan Powell, who also averaged in double figures. So most of the scoring will probably come from the backcourt, which, Warms my cockles, of course. And uh, Mervyn James is only six foot seven. But last year, Coach Baggett had to ask him to guard all of the opponent's bigger, biggest players because of injuries. And I think that really helped James take a huge step forward in his development. So he's going to be another guy uh, on the right or left that we're going to need to keep an eye on. It'll be fun to see what he does inside against some of Providence's big men. And we talked during our Big East preview about how everyone seems to write off Providence all the time. But more often than not, the Friars are making the tournament and they're doing damage. You know, they even won the Big East regular season title last year, but that didn't change anything. I mean, they're not getting any real respect. And I'm not talking about, well, Creighton is a better team. Creighton is a better team. But uh, Providence was picked by a lot of people middle of the pack in the, you know, in the Big East. And I do not understand why that would be. Looking at this Providence team, I would not be shocked to see them run at the top of the Big East once the season's over and have a nice mm -hmm. seed or make some noise in the Big East tournament. I think they are a team that needs to be paid attention to. I mean, this is a team that only lost the five points in the NCAA tournament to the defending national champion, now Kansas Jayhawks. Right. I mean, that's the team that just – I mean, if you remember that game, that five points, I mean, that was, that was a great game. Providence was in it till the very end. So uh, I think that this is a team that we really need to pay attention to. I like Ryder as well. I think they really make that Metro Atlantic division tough. And I know that we're going to probably see them take a step back because of all the Manhattan issues. I, I, I just I feel like that's just going to be a wild scenario whenever that ends. But, yeah, I think this is going to be a fun game. Uh, I'm looking for Providence to win this. I said, almost said football. I mean, this is going back and forth for this. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, they're both physical basketball teams, so so yeah, so you can Put understand. Some pads on them, right? Yeah, you know, and it is the Bronx. It is the Ryder Bronx. <laughs> it's really cool. They don't they, they don't have the O's at the end. It's, it's just the Bronx. They're not the Broncos. They're just the Bronx. Yeah, so. that's really cool. That's really cool. I think Providence can win this basketball game. Uh, a lot of people think that as well, too. But I think it's going to be a good one. Check it out on Fox Sports One, six thirty Eastern time, uh, for tip off on that one.